Hello again everyone. You have landed on the channel of The Ebb Fat. My name is Ebb. We'll be talking uh, once again today about Championship Manager Season 0102. Um, the, the game that just keeps on giving. Um, you can find me here on this YouTube channel. Please do like, subscribe, share, comment, everything that you can to spread this content. You can also find me on Twitter uh, at the Ebb Fats, um, where we'll you'll find saves, uh, chat, um, everything really to do with this wonderful game. Uh, today we will be talking about uh, finances, finances and training facilities for clubs in the English third division, so the lowest league tier these days known as League 2. Um, we have the game loaded up today through John Betts Starter Kit, which is available from champman0102.net, which is the one-stop shop for everything you'll need for the game. Um, it will give you things like tactics, player recommendations, uh, training schedules, you can stay to read stories of saves. You can stay to get involved in the interactive parts of the games. Um, it's a great place to be with a wonderful CM0102 community. Um, there's also a great community on Twitter as well. If you search the hashtag CM0102, you will find lots of content and chat, fun and games. Um, with lots and lots of people who are still keeping the game alive um, 20 years after its initial release. Um, so as I say, we'll be using the starter kit today. That's available from the website, but also from John's GitHub page. So if you were to Google John Betts starter kit, you would be able to find that quite easily. Um, the whole tool allows you to essentially download the game within a matter of seconds um, and it is designed essentially for technophobes in mind so that would allow you to download the game but also numerous different databases as well so you can have the original game that we're looking at today and um, the update that came out just after the 3.9.68 but also the up-to-date Champman data updates going forward into just uh, a couple of months ago the April 2022 database but also historical databases going back prior to the 2001-2002 dateline so we have um, one from the 80s 8990 got a few from the 90s there's a 93 94 there's a 95 96 there's a 98 99 lots of different databases available for you which are wonderful and add something and bring something new to the game but as i say today using the starter kit we are using the miscellaneous patches that are av available through that um, and they give us the option to view any team's finances and also view any team's training facilities and in terms of the training facilities instead of just a worded description like needs investment or poor or good or excellent it gives it to you in a numerical figure so if your facilities were particularly poor like really really rubbish they would be listed as one if they were excellent top of the range they would be 20 so the same 1 to 20 scale that you will find in the game you will be able to view your training facilities in that way also so that's enough chat Let's uh, dig in and see who we've got in the 24 teams in this division. We will go through them in alphabetical order. And obviously the first of those, as you can see, is Bristol Rovers. So Bristol Rovers are a side who obviously share their town with Bristol City, who have pretty much historically been the larger of the club. Bristol Rovers are based in the north of the city. He used to have a, a ground um, very close to the city centre actually but um, they had to leave there that's now an Ikea I believe um, but now at this stage they are slightly further north in the city at the Memorial Stadium the MEM as they call it 
Um, 12,000 people can fit inside the stadium um, with 4,000 seats and their training facilities uh, sorry their training ground and youth facilities are listed as good and that's that numerical figure that you see there so they're listed as 13 out of 20. Familiar name is managing the club as as the game starts that's Jerry Francis um, former player and Tottenham Hotspur manager as well of course 297,000 pounds in the bank and a quarter of a million pounds available to spend on players if they so wish to second team we have is Carlisle United probably the most northern league team happy to be uh, proved wrong on that one in England obviously they play at Brunton Park in Carlisle 16,454 can fit inside um, just about half of that is seated their training ground listed as adequate and that's 7 out of 20 Roddy Collins is the manager there is no kind of upper backroom staff listed £145,000 in the bank but none of that is available to spend on transfers Cheltenham Town Again, another side along along that M4 motorway, I guess. Uh, Wadden Road is the stadium, 8,000. Under half of that is seated, 3,200. Training ground, though, listed as good, and that's 8 out of 20. Steve Cottrell is the manager at the time the game begins. A minuscule, though, 46,146 pounds in the bank they'll be okay for a while though their weekly wage bill is 14,000 so they will have to make some money quite quickly but they're okay for a few weeks at least Darlington another uh, another team that have potentially gone out of business since this game and I believe that is down to the chairman that we see there. George Reynolds, I believe, ran them into huge debt. Um, and then obviously ended up with the team probably having to drop out of the league and re-emerge as a phoenix. I think that's right, but uh, do feel free to uh, correct me if I've got that wrong. So at this point, the team play at the Feetums ground in Darlington. 9,000 people <coughs> excuse me, can fit inside. Um, 5,600 of those are seated. The training ground listed as adequate, and that's 7 out of 10. Uh, so yeah, uh, Gary Bennett is the manager and as we mentioned George Reynolds who uh, took over the club in the early parts of this century I think, early 2000s and again correct me if I'm wrong, had huge plans of moving them to a, a big stadium um, but then the prices for that spiralled, got too much and they ended up having to resign from the league, something along those lines maybe um, do let me know if that's wrong. You can see though that they are they are massively financed at this stage. Uh, 1.43 million pounds in the bank, 775,000 pounds available to spend. That's huge for this tier, League Two, third division tier. Um, so yeah, take take them over. You should have a good good chance if you sign the right players for the right amount of money of getting promotion and, and promoting them on. Exeter City, the other St James's Park, not the Newcastle United one, the one at the other end of the country. Um, Exeter City have a stadium that holds nine thousand four hundred and fifty, four thousand four hundred of those 
are seated. Training ground listed as adequate. That's five out of 20. Um, one thing you will notice there is there's no manager listed. So you could take over Exeter at the start of a save without anyone having to lose their job. If you were to do so, £279,000 would be in the bank, but you would not be allowed any of that to spend. Halifax Town, another team potentially that's uh, turned into a bit of a Phoenix club over the years. Um, they play at the Shea, 13,600, 6,000 seats. Training ground, 6 out of 20, adequate. Tony Parks is the manager. Um, not much in their bank though, just under 100,000 as a bank balance, 120,000 for transfer funds. Hartlepool or Hartlepools United, I think is their full name. Uh, play at Victoria Park in the town, 7,229 is the capacity, uh, just under 4,000 of those is seated. Again, 6 out of 20, adequate training ground. Chris Turner is the manager. And they have a healthy bank balance of 865,000. And 3 quarters of a million pounds available for transfer fees. Now, Hull City. Oh, a side that have made their way up the leagues in the end. Um, had some very big name players playing for them um, and did make it to the Premier League for a period and that all came after they moved out of their current home as you see here Boothbury Park in Hull 15,278 fitted inside uh, what's that just about a third of that was seated training ground listed as adequate 8 out of 20 and Brian Little being manager as the game starts. Just under £2 million available as a bank balance. Transfer funds of £1.7 million. Kidderminster Harriers. Is this another team potentially that went by the wayside? Um, as we take over, uh, sorry, as with the save starts, they play at Agborough. 6,237, just 1,250 of those are seated. The training ground list is adequate, but that's just 5 out of 20. Lionel Newton is the chairman. And a famous name is the manager at the start of the game, Jan Mulby, former Liverpool midfielder finances wise just under five hundred thousand pounds in the bank and one hundred and seventy thousand pounds available for Mulby or for you or for anyone to spend if they wish to take over now Leighton Orient in future years potentially we're looking at moving into the now known as London Stadium the Olympic Stadium that was used obviously for London 2012 um, in East London Leighton Orient were prospective new uh, lodgers um, before that went to West Ham so Leighton Orient still reside at Brisbane Road 13,500 can fit inside 10,500 of those are seated the training ground is listed as good 10 out of 20 the chairman there you see Barry Hearn famous for different sports actually not so much football he is a snooker promoter he is a boxing promoter and obviously his son is now a famous boxing promoter also Tommy Taylor is the manager and he has £690,000 in the bank but just £95,000 of that available to spend. 
And the final team in this half is Lincoln City, the Imps. They play at Sinsel Bank in Lincoln. 10,918 all-seater stadium and a 9 out of 20 a good rated training ground. Alan Buckley is the manager. And and £97 is the bank balance. Luton Town are the next club, a famous club in the 1980s, early 90s, um, League Cup final I believe, Milk Cup final as it was called back then, um, and they are now in the championship playoff scene in 2022, um, they would love to make it back to the top flight, they were always famous for being the little club in the top flight when they made it there before um, and also I believe along with QPR had what was called back then one of the plastic pitches and so the precursor of 3G, 4G that we have these days um, all weather pitch so that it could be used all year round and, and not have any games called off um, the other famous thing if you don't know about Luton Town is um, if you have time after you're done here, is Google Luton Town away stand. You will not believe what you see. Essentially what happens is you go in through what looks like someone's front garden to get into the away stand in the ground. It's a, a sight to behold. Camelworth Road is that ground. It's the oak stand, is the away stand I believe. Uh, the ground holds 9,970. The training ground needs investment 5 out of 20. Joe Kinnear is manager. Brian Steen a former Luton man is assistant manager and can you believe here Great Britain Olympic pentathlete Daley Thompson is on the coaching staff. £276,000 in the bank, nothing available to spend. Macclesfield Town play at Moss Rose, the Moss Rose ground, 6233, of which 2,500 are seats. Um, the training ground is not very good, needs investment 3 out of 20. Um, this would be a challenge for whoever took over because the bank balance stands at the beginning at just 29 thousand pounds in there so half of that will be going out next week as the wage bill for the squad is thirteen thousand pounds so within two weeks if no money comes in they'll be in the red mansfield town of field mill ten thousand five hundred all seater but look at that training ground off one out of 20. So they essentially either don't have one or they train in the park. The local park, slide tackling through dog muck, the works. Cones out, jumpers for goalposts. 30 grand in debt as well, so they can't even buy any balls or bibs to take to the park. What a challenge that is for someone. Oxford United, the Kazam Stadium, named after Firoz Kazam, owner and chairman. Um, that stadium holds 12,500, it's all seater. The training ground is adequate, listed as 7 out of 20. Mark Wright is manager, not the guy from Towie, but the former Liverpool and England central defender. He will have to balance those books a little bit he or whoever takes over because they are two hundred thousand pounds in debt at the start of any save plymouth the other side down in the southwest of the country um, down even further than exeter they play at home park nineteen thousand six hundred and forty although just six thousand seven hundred of those are seated Training ground though listed as good, that's 8 out of 20, that's not too bad for this level. 
Paul Sturrock is the manager. He is uh, well known around Plymouth Parts. That's the wrong one. What we're looking at is balance £107,000. So not too much to play with. Um, but if you look at it in, the, in terms of bringing in youth players, if you look at it really realistically, if you did a youth search, you could imagine that every player that comes in is from the Cornwall area because Plymouth are the only club down there. So they can hoover up all the local talent. Rochdale. Some uh, cup runs in their future. A wonderfully named stadium in Scotland. 10,200 can fit inside. The training ground needs investment though. Just 3 out of 20. Finances wise, just over £100,000. Here's the big one. Rushton and Diamonds. The one we've been waiting for in this division. A club that uh, came from nowhere on the back of immense wealth. Which we will see. A club that pretty much disappeared to nowhere because that immense wealth disappeared um, and had to be another one where they reformed as a Phoenix club and I believe they're called AFC Rushton and Diamonds. At this stage they play at Neen Park in Earthlingborough. 6,635 can fit. 4,654 are seated. The training ground is immense for this level. Good. 15 out of 20. Obviously, as we've said, they are financed by that man there, Max Griggs, who... Is he the Dr. Martin's man? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but look at the finance they have behind them. 9.996 million pounds in the third division at this time even today 10 million pounds in the third division is huge 10 million pounds in 2001 2002 was absolutely massive transfer funds of course huge as well 4.3 million pounds to do whatever you want with the only thing you need to consider is Will people want to come and play in the third division? But if you find the right players, they will come. Obviously the favourites for the division. Scunthorpe United. Love the colours. Um, you'll know in 2022 they have just been relegated from the league this season. They will play non-league football next year. Manford Park is the ground, 9,183, 7,000 of them seated. The training ground is good, 8 out of 20. And Brian Laws is player manager. So they're decently placed at this point. 95,704 in the ground. Could you be the one to take on the team with the swear word to higher things? Shrewsbury Town, another exceptional ground name in Gay Meadow. 8,000 can fit inside, although just 1,500 of those are seated. The training ground, 5 out of 20. Kevin Ratcliffe, ex-Everton man, is the manager. And he's got a bit of money behind him, 524,000 in the bank, 200,000 pounds to spend on transfers. South End United of Essex. Roots Hall is the ground. It's an all seater, 12,900. But the training ground does need a lot of work. David Webb is the manager at Takeover Time. He's a former Chelsea manager, I believe, Chelsea player. Um, but this, you see their finances insecure. Let's see why. Four million pounds in debt. So that is a big hole for someone like South End to cover in the third division. 
How you, would you do it? Unsure, but a good challenge to take on. Swansea City. So here come the first, second, slash third biggest Welsh side in the English football pyramid. Playing their football at the Vetch Field. Just over 10,000 it fits, 4,000 of them seated. Training ground is good. Feels a little weird to see white and red for Swansea. They're pretty much white and black, majority white these days. 204,000 in the bank, but you cannot spend a bean of it if you were to take over as Swansea City manager. Two to go. Torquay United on the English Riviera. Plainmore, 6,500. Half of that seated. And a training ground listed as 4 out of 10. A female managing director here, Heather Kindlett. And Roy McFarland is the manager. They've got a bit of uh, cash behind them there. A million pounds in the bank, 775,000 available to spend and the final club in the 92 in the league 92 is york city they play their football at bootham crescent in york 9459 can fit although just 3248 can be seated the training ground though is listed as good 15 out of 20 is very very good for this level so you wouldn't need to worry about enhancing that as yet. You could spend your money on player transfers if there was any. So the balance, 433000 but none of that is available to spend. So that covers the English Third Division, now known as League Two, and the finances and training facilities available for you if you were to take on a side at the start of the game. Um, if you enjoyed this content, um, do check out more of the videos, like them, subscribe them, share them with people you know and are interested, comment on them and tell me anything I may have got wrong. Um, in the meantime, thank you very much and we'll see you again for the next one.